what <coughs> is the difference between what you do and what a traditional homeless program does? How, how would you say that's different? We are landlords. Yeah. We, we don't provide uh, any type of uh, client service mm -hmm. uh, that you would consider case management or clinical. We don't do that. What we do is supply property management geared towards a group of men, people with mental illnesses. So our folks that our property managers, myself and, and other staff, we know who we're providing housing for. This is what we were set up by Dr. Robert Bauman because of his because he got into it because of his daughter and a whole bunch of people like him. Doc's Doc's 84 years old. He swims a mile every day. Uh, I've had the extreme fortunate uh, uh, opportunity to work with some older men like him th uh, throughout my life and some other opportunities as well. And uh, this guy's there because it, it's, 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 it's in here for him. It, it, you got to do this stuff. His daughter is, is fairly high functioning but a, but, a, but a really horrible illness. But he knows what happens to people like this. So we got set up, the board's there, they know what we're doing. Do the housing. Don't try to be a doctor. Don't do no street therapy, anything like that. You know, get get out of that. But treat your people like like you and me get treated. If they do stuff they, that'll get them evicted, if you do it, uh, and if they do it, same thing's going to happen to them as happened to you, unless it's because of their illness. If that happens to them and they're decompensating, they do something weird because of their illness, we'll intervene on that and we'll deal with, help get them through that. And then once they get settled, we'll also guarantee their housing. Their house is not going away. But if they make a stupid thing, choice like I did, same thing's going to happen to them. So they're not treated any different. And scattered, small site, and back to the core values of what we believe in, I believe that anyone should live wherever the hell they want to live. I, I think you should be able to live wherever you want to live, and so should everybody else. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with that. Although some people were going to have to uh, need some support to be able to live to where they want to live. And as, if they've got the support, nothing extraordinary out of the way that, that gives them an extra deal. they just got some rent support. In a, in a house like this, what's wrong with that? Nothing. So this is what we do. This is how we're different. We don't have shelters. It's not transitional. This is permanent housing. We are landlords. And we rent to all kinds of people, but they have to be have to have a mental illness. That's 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 what we do. And further to further to Dean's point, to answer your question, uh, what's very important, as we've stated before, are the partnerships that we that we uh, create and that we have with the different agencies that provide the supportive services. But also, a lot of it has to do with the the experience that we that we gain over the years. Until last year, we didn't have a single person on staff with any clinical experience. We now have somebody who's a licensed, who's a retired licensed social worker, um, but but really what it what it what it, it what, what's very important is just the experience that we have with our clients, and that we know when things are going well and when things are not going well. Now, as landlords, we see them all the time. The clients that are living in land, in, in in units through section through shelter plus care, who are renting from. Uh, from private landlords, a private landlord has a very difficult time usually understanding what happens to the client when they're starting to decompensate. They'll call me up, Mike, um, something's wrong with Andy, he's walking through the hallways and yelling. At that point, you know, you know, our partnerships with, the, with, our, with, our with our clients, with our clients' case management, and with the landlords and within our own organization, uh, create a team effort to correct whatever situations come up. So that's what's really key toward helping people stay in their housing and, and maintain their housing.